Hello, my name is Ron, I'm from Sleepy Circuits, and I'm here to show you my first module, Hypno. Hypno is a powerful voltage-controlled digital video synthesizer capable of a wide variety of visuals in a small package. It is the easiest way to get started with video art, get into audiovisual performance, or expand your existing video workflow. In this video, I'm going to go over the hardware and walk you through Hypno's graphics engine step by step. Let us begin with a hardware overview. Hypno can be used both standalone or in a Eurorack synthesizer system. It can be powered with USB on the front or the side or a Eurorack power connector. It is designed to easily integrate into both digital and analog workflows. Hypno can output composite, HDMI, and NDI video. Simply plug it into the corresponding port and video will start outputting. But note that Hypno will need to be turned on with the HDMI cable plugged in so that it knows to switch to this output. HDMI connections will automatically upscale the target display up to 1080p. NDI can be output directly out of the USB port on the front. This output can be used simultaneously with either the composite or the HDMI. And you can use this to view Hypno on your laptop, record or stream OBS, or integrate with VJ software like Resolume. The front panel features nine CV Eurorack standard CV inputs, so negative five to positive five volts, that control their corresponding knob represented by a connecting line on the panel. Panel overview. The Hypno is an all-in-one video synthesis engine that features two oscillators, colorizer, patching matrix, and much more. So let's just dive right into it. The Hypno has two sides for shape A and shape B. The two sides are mirrored and have individual frequency, shape, rotation, and polarization controls. The same is true for the other side. The shape selection button features five shapes with an LED indicator. The center line is the master section. The middle knob is a bipolar gain control that goes both positive and negative. When the control goes past halfway on either side, the frame actually begins to feed back on itself and leave a trail. There are currently five feedback modes with an LED indicator with a lot of great effects. This knob is the master hue offset. This knob controls the color of both of the oscillators at the same time based on the color relationship that you set for the oscillators. We'll go over how to set this relationship shortly. CV control. Hypno can be controlled by any Eurorack compliant modulation signal. So positive five to negative five volts. The inputs are bipolar and move the knob that is connected with a line to that jack. For example, if I want to modulate oscillator A's frequency, I'll follow the line to the jack and plug in a modulation signal, so an LFO in this case coming from Batumi, into the corresponding jack. You can see now that the visual is moving on its own. Similarly, I can take an envelope output coming out of the instrument interface, which is following my voice right now, and control the frequency of the oscillator with just the sound of my voice. The underlying jacks in the corners are trigger inputs that advance the shape by one. So it's the same as pressing this button manually, but now I can take a square, a pulse coming out of Batumi, plug it in there, and then now I'm going to have the shape advancing in time with this LFO right here. This is a great way to quickly get rhythmic visuals in time to a clock or drum trigger coming out of your system. The pages. Holding down a button opens up a page and the corresponding LEDs will turn white when you are in that page. Holding the right and left button lets you access a page of controls for that side's oscillator. The center button will open up the feedback page. The colorizer. When you're in oscillator page A or B, the gain knob becomes your saturation control and the hue knob controls your hue offset. This allows you to select a desired color relationship, such as this one, and then offset it with the master hue knob. So you can do the same thing with the other one, 
and then offset it again and rotate it around. Hypno has a suite of self-modulation controls which can be used alongside the analog modulation. The main frequency slider for the oscillator page controls scrolling self-modulation. The center detent being zero and up and down will move the scrolling up or back. You can do the same thing on the other side, but then it is mirrored, so that main frequency slider becomes the scrolling modulation. You could do the same thing with the rotation control, so you could have it modulate to the right or to the left, and then here similarly the center is zero. The polarization control, when it is turned up, can also be self-modulated. When mirroring is active, this control actually modulates the mirror axis, as described in the next section. Mirroring controls. The opposite polarization and rotation knobs become the mirror mount and mirror axis for each shape respectively. So as you can see, the top knob will add more axes, and then the bottom knob will rotate said axes. And the same is true for shape B. Then you can actually see some of these mirror axes start to move because the polarization control becomes the modulation for this axis, as if you're moving this knob in continuously in a direction. These controls allow you to further modify the base shapes into some kaleidoscopic craziness. Internal patching. When holding down any of the buttons, the other LED indicators represent the current state of Hypno's patching system. Red means no, and green means yes. So when I hold the oscillator A button and then press the oscillator B button, the LED turns green, and now oscillator A is fed into oscillator B. The slider under this button then now controls the gain of the connection, so positive and negative. You can then patch oscillator B back into oscillator A for some cool noisy effects. So you're going to want to use the gain here to dial in how much of this effect you want. Or you can then take the feedback and patch it into an oscillator for some more cool noisy effects. Similarly, you can dial it in with the bottom slider. Or you can take an oscillator completely out of the frame by holding that button and then pressing the top button. This is great for when you want something to modulate another shape, but not actually appear in the frame. There is a lot of possibilities with the system, and I can't hope to go over all of them, so I'll just let you explore on your own. The center page controls Hypno's feedback system. Hold the center button to enter the page, and then in this page, the center knob controls the zoom of the feedback. The hue knob controls the hue offset for some colorful edges, and the two knobs offset the feedback frame on the X and Y axis. The leftmost knob controls the rotation of the feedback, so here if I keep the polarization back and then turn this knob, you will see how the rotation of the feedback frame is now affected, and then the rightmost knob will control a modulation for that rotation. So imagine that left rotation knob being rotated on its own automatically. This results in some pretty crazy fractal patterns and is really fun, and looks a little bit different for every single feedback mode. The preset system. Hypno has three preset slots, one for each button. Holding two of the buttons, and tapping a third will recall the preset saved in that slot. Doing the same and then holding that button will play a short animation and after the LEDs turns green, that means the active visual on screen is now saved into that slot. This is a great way to quickly recall a complex visual in a performance or get a good starting point for a new visual. And that's almost everything in Hypno right now. As you can see, this little guy is packed with features. Hypno has been a labor of love for me, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. Moving forward, we will continue to update and improve the engine, so please comment below or reach out if you have any suggestions. The engine has already come a really long way, and I hope you get one and help me make it even better. Hypno is available now on our site, sleepycircus.com, so go buy one. Subscribe here for more Hypno tutorials. Check out our Instagram channel at Sleepy Circuits for daily visuals and our site, sleepycircus.com, to learn even more about Hypno. 
Thank you for listening and stay sleepy.